Pakistan could have technical edge on Indian Air Force despite Rafael jet deployment, IAF veteran New Delhi, Sputnik, on Friday. Indian Air Force, IAF Chief RKS Bhadoria said that 36 Rafale jets were not the whole solution to the IAF's needs. India signed a $7.8 billion contract with French Dassault Aviation to buy the aircraft in 2019. Sitting beside Indian Defense Minister Rajnath Singh, Air Force Chief Rakesh Kumar Bhadoria issued a strong warning to the political leadership of India, claiming that the Rafale fighter jet is insufficient to meet the country's defense needs. IAF veteran Vijayendra K. Thacker told Sputnik that Rafale is definitely the best aircraft in the IAF's inventory now. However, a determined adversary like the Pakistan Air Force could turn the tables on the IAF by deploying longer-range Chinese Place 15 missiles on an updated version of the JF-17 jet. The technical advantage gained by the IAF through the acquisition of the Rafale would be transient because it would be based largely on the weapon systems and sensors of the Rafale, Thacker said. The IAF's excessive focus on platforms rather than sensors and weapon systems was evident during the Kargil conflict with Pakistan two decades ago. The IAF fulfilled the expectations only after it made emergency purchases of laser-guided bombs and targeting pods, Thacker said. Powered up JF-17 The Pakistan Air Force's single-engine multi-role fighter, the JF-17 manufactured by the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, is due for a major upgrade. Similar to the advanced technologies seen on the J-20 stealth fighter, the Chinese newspaper Global Times reported earlier this year. It is confirmed by the Chinese outlet that the upgraded JF-17 fighter jet will have an infrared search and track system and a radar cross-section, reducing pseudo-stealthy air frame. The JF-17 fighter jet has been also equipping with Place 15 Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air missile that has posed serious concern among the U.S. Air Force due to the long range of its missiles. Herbert J. Carlisle, though then head of the U.S. Air Force's Combat Command, was quoted by Flight Global as saying that outmatching the Chinese Place 15 air-to-air -air missile in particular is an exceedingly high priority. The Place 15 and the range of that missile. We've got to be able to outstick that missile, U.S. Air Force's Command Chief had said in 2015. Lessons from Balakot strike and options for India on February 27, 2019. A day after the IAF struck an alleged terror training camp at Balakot, the PAF surprised the IAF with its longer-range MROM and better supporting sensor capability. IAF allowed itself to be outgunned by focusing on platform acquisitions, rather than weapon system and sensor upgrades. With sufficient military foresight, the IAF could have armed its Su-30 MKI with longer-range air-to-air missiles acquired from Russia rather than continuing to rely on the lesser-range missile ordered years ago from Ukraine, IAF. Veteran Thacker asserted, the Indian Air Force ordered a large batch of Russian air-to-air -air missiles such as R-27, R-73 very shortly after Balakot strike. Emphasizing the importance of indigenous Astra air-to-air -air missile, Indian Air Force Chief Bhadoria said at a seminar in New Delhi on Friday that, that when the missile goes on to the Su-30 and MiG-29, that the power of parity and better performance will spread across the Air Force. The Indian Air Force will start taking delivery of the Rafale jets in May 2020.